Hey guys, Arturo here. I'm gonna teach you how to make a bell curve or a normal distribution graph. Why is this graph important? Well, if you're a businessman or you're a teacher, let's say a teacher, and you had a set of students and the median is 80, but one of them did had a, a one in that exam and two of them had a hundred, this graph is perfect for you to tell in a bell type of shape who did the best and who did the worst. All right, I'm gonna minimize myself for a second and let's take a look at this. So, if you see here, we have a graph and it does look like a, like a bell, it's like a mountain. What you see is a continuous graph because it's dynamic. It fluctuates with new data coming in and out. So it shows you the highest point of the probability that is occurring. All right, so the first thing we're gonna need is data. I don't have data, so I'm gonna create one with a formula that Microsoft Office gives us. It's called RAND Array. And you can do it as well. It's built in in Office. So here you type RAND Array, hit tab, and it's gonna ask you for the rows. Uh, this is the number of data that you want to populate. In our case, it's gonna be 20,000. So I'm gonna select that row, comma. And now it's gonna ask me for the number of columns. I only want one column. So, one. Now here it's asking you for the range from the minimum value to the maximum value that you want this data. So, I'm gonna select zero and then one. And then here it's gonna ask you if you want integers or decimals. We want decimals because integer would be zero, one, zero, one, right? So. One decimal, so put DSC and type tab and then enter, and there you go. You have the set of values now. All right, so this is great, but this is just the data. This is not the actual curve graph that we want, the bell graph. So if you had this data already, then use it. Now, what I'm going to do to use this data is type the formula norm that env hit the tab bottom and then it's gonna ask you for the probability so here is asking you for the data now our data is this one that we created before to select it all you can hit you can press the pound and then comma now it's asking you for the mean we already have the mean here is our zero so select it, comma, and then it's gonna ask you for the standard deviation, which is one, and that's it. Hit enter, and there you go. Now you have your curve. Okay, great, so now we have the normally distributed data. Now we need to create the graph. So go to insert, and then go to the graph section, and go to histogram and you're gonna click the first one. Now this is gonna select all your data here. What you wanna do is grab only the normally distributed data, this one here, and voila. It's gonna populate all that nice bell graph. Okay, so two things to consider here. First, the larger the set of data, where it says number in our cheat, the better looking that graph is gonna be, the more detail. Another thing, if you're using the random number generator to, to generate this data, remember what I said that this is dynamic? Well, the it is dynamic because it refreshes. If I hit F9, look what happens. Do you see that graph being auto-generated? All right, that's, that's what dynamic means. So if you have data coming in here live, for example, you're streaming data live from a server, that data is going to dynamically change and you'll be able to see it in real time. All right guys, that is how you can generate a bell graph. If you know now how to do this, give this video a thumbs up. To see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to see me cover any other topic, leave a note down below in the comments. I hope to see you in the next video. Happy holidays.